Hallman. I'm an associate curator at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth and I'm the guest curator of the Cam Perennial this year. I think I visited about 16 or 17 artists and did studio visits in the course of a long weekend. Just very quickly I realized what a tight-knit and vibrant community it is. The phrase topographies of truth, um, I guess when I was considering the work that I narrowed down to my final list, I was thinking about what it had in common, and it's a very diverse group of artists, you know, working in lots of different media, lots of different motivations and concepts, and I guess what stood out to me was just that, that all of the artists in different ways were trying to either tell their own truths or tell a truth about their community or about the world we live in. I hope everyone enjoys the show. My name is Maria Hernandez and I am uh, an artist based here in San Antonio and um, this series is a series of self portraiture and through the portraits I alter my identity so there's different wigs, I use facial prosthetics, costumes in order to create these fictional characters. So this work is primarily about the history of photography, to the theory of physiognomy, and to the theory of physiognomy stated that your facial structure somehow dictated your personality and your identity. I feel like issues such as racial profiling are rooted in these pseudoscience. So each image you see has, it's a composite image, so it's a layering of two to three photographs. I mean, it's about like the projection of identity and how identities are projected onto us. It's great, you know, it's always validating to have your art recognized and it's the McNay is a beautiful place and it's, an, it's really an icon of our city and so it's a great pleasure. I had the idea of making a dressing screen that doesn't function properly, it doesn't hide anything. In fact, it exposes what it's supposed to be hiding. I like to uh, tell these kind of epic stories with my work, so they follow threads across time. And so this idea of shattering and being shattered and feeling shattered was a persistent image. And so this piece is really an evolution of that. So it has that kind of aesthetic quality that's disarming, but also I hope it does look a little bit dangerous and off-putting and threatening. You know, it's meant to be a, a direct reflection of the environment we're experiencing right now. Um, many people feel uh, a sense that things are coming apart or barely being held together or held in some suspension. And mostly I just want people to see what they see, feel what they feel, but behind it is this whole complex of thoughts meant to reflect everyone's experience. I'm Buster Graybill. Uh, this is my R Mutt, the Renegade Modernist Utility Travel Trailer, uh, ready made for survival. It's uh, kind of like a mobile studio slash survival trailer. Inside, there's two beds, but I also have a lot of tool storage for all my tools. Outside, I have a little slide out field kitchen. Little two burner stove, drawers for storage, even have an oven if you want some biscuits. So we also have an outdoor shower. So you can hose off your equipment, hose off yourself, hot water. This is everything you could ever ask for. Got a little emergency whiskey. We've got survival books on bushcraft, and then we also have some contemporary art books, so survival and contemporary art. Assorted tools. In here, there's a first aid kit with splints and bandages and stuff like that. This is a flotation device for a boat, but it also makes a good seat cushion. So I can slide this out and put a cutting board on this and eat here. This is a refrigerator freezer that will be powered by solar. I love milk crates. All my stuff ends up in milk crates, so I thought, why not use them for cabinets? Um, five gallon buckets, one for emergencies. This is a lantern box that my great-grandfather made that has all the parts 
for repairing a lantern. So I guess in some ways this thing kind of inspired me whenever I was like, wow, he went to a lot of work to make sure that you had everything you needed for your lantern. And so I guess in a way this is my giant lantern box. The whole thing is playing on repurposing things and finding innovative ways to use things that are around us. So um, I wanted to use the moving blankets because they're just a part of my life. And uh, one of my grad students, Eden Collins, um, helped me. Well, actually, I gave her the design and she did all the work. Uh, she did great work. One thing, I've got an escape hatch too. <laughs> <laughs>